So I am in Aspen, Colorado this week for like a brand trip. I haven't been on a brand trip in such a long time and they have done such a good job with this one already. It's literally day one. I will say I did have the travel day from hell yesterday, um, tra traveling from LA to Aspen. I also haven't been in Aspen in like five years. So it's very excited to be back. It's so cute. I forget how cute it is here and I feel so lucky to be here. But yesterday's travel day, y'all. <laughs> It was so bad. I was outside waiting for my car at 7.45 a.m. I was like, I am ready. I'm killing it today. We did not take off in the plane until about 5 p.m. So I was just chilling at the airport all day. When I got to the hotel, I just wanted to lay down and do nothing. I took the coziest, warmest shower. They stocked our room with like a bunch of products. So I put on this body butter, which is literally the best body butter I've ever tried in my entire life. It's the Delicia Drench body butter. So good. So I put that on. Put a robe on, ordered room service, lay down, watched Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <sighs> Last night was so good, I went to bed early. So this morning I've already gotten up, done some of the content I needed to do, and then went and had breakfast. And I haven't seen who else is on this trip because I literally didn't ask who was coming. I just showed up here like an idiot. But I've seen some people I know, so I'm really excited. And today we're actually going up to Aspen Mountain to do some kind of launch party, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know what's going on. I just know I need to dress warm and be cozy. So we're gonna get dressed in a second after I do my makeup. All right, y'all. So I have on a little lip mask, so I don't wanna talk about what's happening here, but we're gonna get dressed. So I'm starting with this little long john situation from Amazon that I ordered in like, rush order. And then I got this little like ski suit type thing from ASOS. I'm a baby about the cold, so I got something like insulated. People have already been like, it's actually not that cold on the mountain. And I'm like, um, girlies, I grew up in Florida and Texas. And I currently live in Los Angeles, California. I think 60 degrees is freezing. So, love. And then I'm going to put on these socks. These are also from Amazon. Just search like scrunch socks. And then the moon boots are going on. Guys, guess what? Also got these from Amazon. A shock. I can never tell what side, like what foot this is supposed to go on. All right, guys, here's the drama. Love. mid makeup because I wanted to see what it looked like. So I'm just gonna do like a messy-ish ponytail. Today was really fun. We went up to the top of the mountain and I realized I've actually been here for, like at the exact venue, for a wedding before. I was a plus one. Um, my friend Travis is plus one for this unbelievable wedding. I didn't know the bride before, but he was in, my friend was in the groom's party. So I was like, just so <laughs> involved in their wedding being like a person she doesn't know which i honestly like felt bad about but she was actually like, really cool about it but i was talking to keaton today and we we're talking about just like weddings and stuff in general how like i don't think i would like that like i don't want people to be able to bring plus ones that i don't personally know while i'm getting married especially because the ceremony wasn't like crazy big or anything so i, I don't know how i feel about that whole thing I don't think I'm a plus one girly to my wedding, but I'm also just like a little bit ruthless. <laughs> like I will say no plus ones and not be sorry about it literally at all. And I won't feel bad for one second. Not that I'm getting married <laughs> soon or anything, but I have been discussing it. And the more friends that I know that are getting closer to it, every time I talk to someone, they're like, I actually feel the same way about most of those things. Like, also I feel like I'm the greasiest I've ever been here. Like my makeup, nothing is laying right. You know what I mean? Also, I'm recording on a brand new camera. Y'all are on this like camera that like tracks my face and I have never used it before, before this trip. So I'm a little interested to see how this footage will turn out. 
So now we're gonna add this YSL Lash Clash. This is a waterproof mascara. I just got it recently. Sadly, I didn't bring a lash curler. I wonder if when I move to Milwaukee, if I'm just gonna feel like so, so crusty and ugly. <laughs> Cause cold weather just makes me feel like shit. I don't like it, you guys. I am built for 102 and 90% humidity. I am not built for whatever this dryness is. Also guys, I got a little bit crafty when it comes to my brow gel and I just took my little wax stick here and a spoolie and I kind of tried to set them in place with this. So I think that's gonna work for us. And then I'm gonna use my Summer Fridays gloss, which I made. It's actually like a lip oil. Okay, the bag I'm bringing is this little Chanel. So this bag has a gold strap, but it's almost like a silvery, or like almost like a pewter maybe. Here's what the dress looks like. I love this dress. It's from Arsina Ori. I think is how you pronounce it. It's so pretty. Nothing you say makes it better. Bring it right back, right back to me, baby. No, we've been here before. Give me the real this time. No cap, no lies. It's our own door. Bring it right back, right back to me, baby. I know my heart wants more. Give me the good this time. No cap, no lies. All right. We're the last girlies left in Austin. <laughs> Trying to find a place to get a drink. Oh, we've slept through ice. <laughs> I think Zane is gonna appreciate this from us. So Alexa and I ended up going out so late last night. Well, like really just like two-ish. We went and found this like just little dive bar kind of place. It was so nice because we just sat down after like a fancy night and had beers. I just got a massage and y'all, I have had this like weird numb feeling in my hand right here and I haven't really like I've told some of my friends and I told Joe but honestly I didn't tell a lot of people because I was scared someone was going to tell me I had nerve damage or like a neurological problem. Just haven't really said anything. I was planning on going to the doctor and like was just like really dreading it just being dramatic. Anyway I just went and got a massage from this amazing massage lady and she felt my shoulder like I was laying on my back. And she was like, how long has this shoulder been like so locked up? And I was like, oh, I guess forever. I don't know <laughs> because I didn't notice. And she was like, well, does your like arm feel weird? Like you're really, really locked up here. And I was like, well, weirdly enough, yeah, it actually does. And I was like, I thought I was dying. And she was like, no, I think it's just like a pinched nerve. So you have to like open it up. So she did some acupuncture on my arm because I also feel it up here. And she was like, the muscles all connect and go like, and they all affect each other basically. We are gonna go, Keaton and I are gonna go to a coffee shop. So I'm just gonna put on some sweats and a like t-shirt and then my fur coat. Later today, we're doing some apres ski things. Okay, so I've been talking with my friends, Iman and Kristen today, <laughs> just like via text. And they brought up how we went out recently and there's this one girl that's like a friend of a friend basically, who like, for no reason, just fucking hated me. Like she looked, took one look at me and was like, no. And was so mean to the point where like, Kristen like saw it and was like genuinely getting like, anno like getting annoyed. It was being like, what the fuck are you being that friend? Mean to my friend who like genuinely is so nice. Anyway, I am just like a straightforward person. So I finally get to the point where I'm like, hey, I feel like you don't really like me because I just can't not say something. Basically, I was like, I know you don't like me, but I promise you will. <laughs> I need this. Obviously, she ended up loving me by the end of the night. <sighs> she was sitting down having a lovely heart to heart with me. I was like, I did this. I did this. But mom was like, that's so you to be like, it's fine if you don't like me, I get it. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this jacket. Okay. Just take it 
So I'm in Vegas right now. We've got Maddie over here <laughs> and Morgan over there. We're staying at the Win. Uh, I'm not actually going to the game. They are. I'm oh, you're not? No, I'm flying out at one. Where are you Sunday. going? Just home. I have to just do that stuff for a while, so okay. I wasn't gonna come, and I was like, oh, how can you not? I'll do it. I think. <laughs> but there, it's only content for them. It's not like for my own. Yeah. All right, here's my makeup. Super simple. I did a little bit of a darker eye than normal, but when I look at it on camera, it literally looks. Not that dark. So I'm gonna get dressed on TikTok right now and then I'll show you guys my outfit. Here's my outfit. This is from Cold Naked. We're all wearing corsets. Here's the outfit. This is from Cold Naked. They have this set in a number of colors. And then I've got the pointed toe heels on. And then I mixed metals for like bracelets and stuff like that. We're gonna go to dinner and then we're gonna go to Revolve and I think we're going to another party. I'm gonna need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun off safety. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two-tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm going, I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision, it couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live in this So I'm gonna have to like <laughs> undress this bed. <laughs> Oh, you. <laughs> I want chicken nuggets. <laughs> Give me chicken nuggets. Uh, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Wow. I am just. I'm not even like hungover really this morning. Honestly, I feel like I didn't drink that much, and I feel like maybe the drinks were just so weak. Like we left dinner, and but all of us were like, we've had six margaritas like what why can't i feel anything i think i'm more just like tired because we were out so late also here's my cot there's only one king bed in this room and i always volunteer myself for the extra bed situation because i don't really like sleeping with other people is that weird like i like to sleep with joe in the bed even though sometimes he can be a furnace and he has to go to the other side of the bed. But like Winnie in the bed is fine. I washed my face and stuff last night, which I'm proud of, but like I knew we were gonna come home and order room service and be too tired to take an actual shower and just like all of us in this bed. I just don't think, it's, I don't think it's for us. I don't think it's our journey. So the girls went to go get IVs this morning. Also not part of my journey. I just like, there's something about that that freaks me out sometimes. I'm about to call down and have this tray removed so when the, everyone gets back, maybe things will be a little cleaner in here. Last night, we went to the H. Wood Group party, which is in partnership with Revolve, typically. And for me, always one of my favorite parties at Super Bowl as of the last couple of years because I feel like I just know the Revolve team well enough now. I'm obsessed with them. They're so, so nice. Like, the people that I've become friends with over the years I always feel, like, so at home. So it's nice to see them. I haven't seen everyone in a while because I just have, like, been not good at my job lately and not linking anything. <laughs> just just living. Future played at that. And then I saw a bunch of my friends just from LA. Then we went to go meet up with my friend Sophie at uh, Komodo in the Fountain Blue. We're at the Wynn right now. That's where we're staying. Morgan is working with the Wynn. Morgan is killing the Super Bowl, by the way. And then we actually came back here and some of the group came back with us and the girls wanted to gamble. So they were gambling. My single friends gambled with men's money of course something felt weird but like i don't want to gamble my own money and then also like being in a relationship i don't really like also want to gamble with another man's money either because it wasn't like hey you're my best girlfriend forever like here's some money to gamble it was like there was some kind of like sexual undertone there sometimes so i just watched and i also like gambling makes me nervous so what doesn't make me nervous we got back at probably like 5 30 or 6 and then we ordered room service Maddie was such a savage, she, she ordered a Pinot Noir at six in the morning. I'm like, that is, this is scarier. I had to do a reel, like I, literally all I'm here because <laughs> I had to do a get dressed with me reel for Revolve to use on their own channels. I'm getting paid to do that. So I'm just here doing that. Like I just had to get dressed to go to a football viewing party. 
It's gonna take two seconds, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> and then I'm just trying to have a good time, you know? We didn't get a single photo last night um, of our outfit. I loved my outfit last night. It's from, you guessed it, Revolve. <laughs> I might have to find coffee at some point. Okay, so I'm taking this little lip mask off or stain off. I got this from the TikTok shop and where I walked out there and Morgan was like, um, what the fuck is on your lips? <laughs> but it comes off and it leaves like this really nice stain. I think you're supposed to technically peel it off. I wipe it just cause I think it's better for me that way. Perfect. I heard that you claim that you know me, but you ain't the homie. The fuck is your friendship? I need the loyalty, he bag up the royalty. I give a fuck if you notice me. So I love this jumpsuit so much, but it's one of those things like the fabric keeps getting longer every time I walk. I am 5'7". I'm wearing probably six to seven inch heels. So I'm like, I'm like six feet tall right now. It literally is dragging onto the ground. So I need to like cut these and literally the lobby of the tunnel. All right, I'm gonna trick it. So ridiculous. Ain't nobody holding me big wave at your short line so they know it's me. Bay boy from the cold seas, nitro with a new pen go out. Alright y'all, I'm having some lunch. Here's all my beverages. So I went to Wendy's for a Coca-Cola and a Frosty and it was right by where I was getting my beautiful lunch from. This. I'm actually not even hungover really today because I went home early, but. I'm gonna need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun off safety. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She wants the two tone spaceship. 